Hi, welcome to the beautiful Sonoran Desert of Arizona. The sun is setting. <sighs> it's a little bit cooler than it was an hour ago and the sun is not quite as hot. I wanted to complete a video response and this one is to Cape Cod Creatures tag hashtag tarot tides. So here goes. Um, she asks what the most favorite deck is, the most used deck, and why. Um, my most used deck is the Druid Craft Tarot. I cut this one down. haven't edged it yet. Um, I'm kind of in between. Should I do brown to match the backs, or should I pick up one of the mossy green colors? But um, this is a very loved deck. For obvious reasons. I just love the imagery. I love the book, the guidebook, um, and um, I can just resonate with the cards. Uh, on a side note, I always think of this card. It's Sarah Jessica Parker um, in the boat. <laughs> Sorry. I just, that just automatically comes to mind. Um, he's trimming Holly. Seven of Pentacles. So, yeah, it's my, it's my most used deck. I feel comfortable using it. I'm really familiar with the imagery. Um, I love shuffling. I love the size. Like I said, I love the guidebook. It's so chock full of information. Um, and I, the colors, you know, it lays out in a nice, beautiful spread. It's not offensive. Look at that chariot. I love the horses. Um, people are intrigued by it, and um, look at the blue, so beautiful. Just uh, get really great readings from the deck. Um, I don't really have a least favorite deck. Um, I take a long time to decide if I'm going to get a deck or not, so um, I'm really going to really love it. I don't have that many. I do have a, under a hundred. I have quite a few decks, but the ones that I have have been well thought out. They haven't really been um, impulse buys. The only time that I would trade or sell a deck would be, say, in the situation that I got um, several decks. I bought a group of uh, decks and maybe one or two just wasn't doing it for me. Or, if, you know, if I get a deck and I just don't really connect with it, or over time, um, it just doesn't hold the same interest for me. Maybe I outgrow it, um, but that doesn't happen. And usually, I don't hold on to decks that I don't resonate with at all. Um, what time of day do you feel your readings are the strongest? I haven't really thought about that. Um, my time is limited to work with tarot, so um, I would say that reading for others does occur more in the evening. Um, or weekends whenever I have a spare moment I'm pretty free to do a reading any time of day <laughs> it's just ready and willing I'm ready and willing and and the decks are ready and willing as well what time of day are they well there you go there's no real weak or strong if there is I don't know about it maybe there is and I need to think about that one more um, I just think if I feel weak or um, my intuition is low, I'm not really going to 
do a reading. Do I take your cards into nature or do readings in nature? Well, I'm out in nature today and I'm kind of liking it. Um, normally I don't. I mostly stay in my home because I have my candles and my crystals and um, music and my pets. They are my spirit animals, my two beloved doggies. So, um, but yeah, I'm kind of liking, liking being out in the nature and I probably would do this because I, I really, I like hearing the birds in the background. So yeah, it's something that I'm probably going to do more of because I do love nature. Do natural forces or weather have an effect on your readings? Well, I just uploaded a video um, about an hour ago and the forces of nature were against me. The wind was blowing, I was melting, um, the sun was glaring. It was all lovely, really. Um, but it, you know, I had to redo um, the video like four times because either my papers were flying, I was melting, um, the sun was moving, um, and I'm sure if the uh, thunder started and rain came, I would be running in the house because I wouldn't want to get my deck wet. Um, if I were inside though, and there's a thunderstorm, I might break out one of the dark decks and do a little shadow work for sure. Um, and then, of course, the forces of nature being the moon is a lovely time to do a reading during the full moon. How do I feel about reversals? Um, if I see someone that does a reading and they're doing reversals, it's bringing new insight um, to that. I don't necessarily do reversals, but um, it just really depends. Um, I don't know. I like all my cards to be upright. And if by chance there's one that isn't, then maybe that does mean something. Um, I'm not as educated on reversals. Let's put it that way. Um, I would not say that they upset the flow, um, in a sense. I just, I really, I don't ever set my cards up that way. It is interesting, though, I will say, um, some of the darker cards are less menacing when they're reversed. So that's a good thing. If I could change or improve one thing about my tarot skills, what would it be? Um, well, if it's one thing, I guess to be more intuitive with the cards, be more open-minded, um, do different spreads, and really think out of the box on some of the spreads, be um, completely honest with self-readings, and um, if I were doing the Three of Swords and decided that I um, needed to look at the reversal. If I were to start getting reversals and really incorporating them in my readings, that may open up a whole different world for me. So um, if I could change one thing would be to really um, be open-minded and honest with personal readings to the degree um, that I accept those really bad cards and um, grow from that reading and um, perhaps incorporate more reversals because there is a lot of information out there for reversals. Um, and again, just basically reading as many books as I can on tarot and incorporating all that new knowledge into the base knowledge that I already have. 
So yeah, that's that's about it. That was a very interesting tag series. Thank you so much, Cape Cod, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.